The governors of New York and New Jersey have signed a memorandum to split the cost of the Gateway Project, but what does that all mean? What's up, everybody? So in July of 2022, uh, New York and New Jersey governors signed a memorandum to split the cost of the Gateway Project. The Gateway Project will connect a train from Newark Penn Station all the way into New York City Penn Station. New York City Penn Station is located in pretty much the heart of Manhattan, right under Madison Square Garden. You've got Hudson Yards, which is right there, which has two big uh, corporate towers. So we're seeing a lot of businesses starting to hire and, and commuters who are going to Hudson Yards, which is a short walk of, out of Penn Station. All right, we're on the other side of the river in the heart of New York City. We just came out of Penn Station, which is right underneath Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. And right over here, it's a short walk right to Hudson Yards. And all right, well, it's a beautiful day. Let's go take a walk. If you're not from this area, you might be wondering why is it important for a $14 billion project to include a new tunnel when there's already a tunnel with trains running to and from New York and New Jersey? Well, I can tell you if you live in New York or New Jersey and you've ever commuted back and forth and you've been stuck in one of those trains uh, or you've had delays or there's been all kinds of, of commuting chaos that can happen. And why is that? Well, the reason is that the tr original train, the Hudson River Crossing, the tunnel that takes you underneath in the train, was created in 1910. Back in 1910, there were under 200 trains that would use that every single day. As of 2019, there were over 400 trains every single day taking commuters back and forth. Now, keep in mind, this is a $14 billion proposed project, which includes building the new tunnel under the Hudson, renovating the current tunnel, as well as replacing the portal bridge. Right now, the portal bridge currently opens up to let boats you know, go through, uh, which when it gets stuck or there's an issue, can create a lot of backlogs for trains that are trying to just get people to and from New York City. Uh, so the new proposed bridge will rise about 50 feet so that way boats can go right under it uh, and it won't have to open or close. So what is this going to do for us who live here in New Jersey? Well, we know that the people here in New Jersey, uh, especially outside of New York City, that has always been a big draw, uh, has always propped up a lot of home values. The, the closer and easier you are to commuting in and out of New York City, you're always going to have demand for your home. So adding another rail line that is going to make that even easier to commute back and forth to New York City, uh, I think that's going to do a lot because there are people who will live in New York City who may even now consider moving out here to New Jersey if the commute is going to be even easier than it already is. So what does it mean for a new rail system connecting New York and New Jersey? Well, for me, I think it's great because I love the days where I can just jump on the train and go right into New York City without any issues. Uh, there's so many things to do in our New Jersey area, but also right across the river in New York City. Uh, there's all kinds of different restaurants, different cultures. When you're just walking around Manhattan, all the different languages that you hear speaking, uh, it really is a true melting pot. Um, you know, commuting is never a picnic, right? Public transportation is always going to have some sort of hiccups. But anything we can do to make that easier, uh, I think the better is going to be for our you know, our home values, our, 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 just our way of life. Uh, being able to commute in and out of New York City is such a treat. Uh, and the easier it is and the safer it is, the better we're all going to be able to enjoy it.
thank you so much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and if you did if you could go down and hit that like button that'd be awesome and while you're down there you might as well subscribe because we're putting out new videos every single week about what it's like to live in new jersey And of course, if you're interested in moving to New Jersey, we would love to be your real estate resource of choice. So you can send an email to the Copec team at gmail.com and we'll be sure to reach out and see how we can help you out. So until next time, later. I think this is getting better. We'll have to see. Mm.